Hi guys, I'm Zach Fox and this is MTV News. Kylie Jenner has turned 21. Now, there's lots of stereotypical things people do when they hit the big 2-1, and Kylie Jenner is no different. So which of the following do you think she's done? A. She had her first legal drink. B. She's taken a photo with her most special gift. Or C. She got an airline transport pilot's license for an aeroplane, helicopter, or gyroplane. The answer was B. And A, probably, as well. This whole thing was a shambles. D, all of the above. I mean, this is Kylie Jenner we're talking about here, so her party was never gonna be a quiet soiree. But between the giant ball pit and staff t-shirts emblazoned with her Forbes cover, she really was living her best life. Are people still saying that? I hope so. She posted a whole bunch of pics to her Instagram after her big night. But the ones that have gained the most likes are these two of her with baby Stormy. Oh, that's sort of cheating though, in a way. I mean, this vid could probably get 17 million likes too if I was holding a baby. She captioned this one, bringing in my birthday tonight with my most special gift. What was life before you, Stormy? I love you, my little angel. Oh, that's kind of sweet, isn't it? Well, happy birthday to you, Kylie Jenner. And you guys, make sure you like this video if you want to. I don't know, only if you want to though. Mmm, I know what you're thinking. And yes, I'll happily run through the best quotes of Kanye West's interview with Jimmy Kimmel. The couple of people that were actually thinking that have probably just thrown their phone in the air. Sorry, everyone else. They told me every time I said I liked Trump, I couldn't say it out loud or my career would be over. I'd get kicked out of the black community because blacks are only supposed to have a monolithic thought. We can only be Democrats. Oh, okay. Let's keep it light, Kanye. I'm trying to have a fun show here. He also said, you can't bully me, liberals can't bully me, the news can't bully me, because at that point, if I'm afraid, I'm no longer yay. I won't ask you again, Kanye. Please keep it light. My cousin is locked up for murder. I love him. He still did a bad thing, but I still love him. He doesn't care, this guy, does he? I'm actually mad at him now. I actually quite enjoy when people are mad at me about certain things. Well, you're welcome, Kanye. If you want more yay news or mind reading, then make sure to keep it MTV. Oh, you were going to anyway. Ignore me. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's edition of MTV News with myself, Tania Taylor. Charlotte Crosby has revealed her brand new ink and some fans are less than impressed. The Geordie Lass revealed her new Joshua tattoo after having her ex Stephen Bear's name removed just a few weeks ago. And we actually think it's kind of cute. The tattoo, which is on the back of her neck, was shown off on the ground with the caption Berlin ink. But of course, some people aren't so into it, with one commenting, this is now BF number three she's had tattooed. But Charlotte soon fired back, saying, I mean, one of them technically wasn't my choice, just the two of us shown. So it's the second. While friend and fellow Geordie Shaw girl Holly Hayes Hagen piped up writing, this is just typical Charlotte Crosby. And there's nothing wrong with that. Another fan couldn't help but get involved by saying she must be so embarrassed, thinking people would like it, yet most have said the same. Silly lass. Only this time, Shah had the perfect response. No, in all honesty, I needed to put up a picture that would get a crazy amount of comments to boost my likes, that in turn boost my interaction. And you guys have provided immensely, so thanks for helping a girl out. Touche, Charlotte, touche. Kendall Jenner has revealed she was on the verge of a mental breakdown last year. In a candid interview with Love magazine, the supermodel opened up about the reason she's been absent from the runway in recent months. She said, last season I didn't do any shows just because I was working in LA and I was like, I can't right now. I'm going to go crazy. She did eventually return to the catwalk in June in Milan, looking stunning, and thanked her family and friends for their support. I feel very, very blessed and I think that I live a very extraordinary life. She continued, I wouldn't change it for the world, but there are days where I wish I I could walk outside and nothing would be like it is right now. Although many showed their support to Kendall, some labelled her despicable and self-absorbed. But thankfully, big sister Kim jumped to her defence, tweeting, Do you know Kendall? She's the complete opposite and is the most generous, compassionate person I know. Her being standoffish is anxiety that paralyses her, which you take as rude. Only a despicable, entitled, unsympathetic, sadistic, uncharitable, self-absorbed human would write this tweet. Well, what big sister's for, eh? If you feel in any way a affected by what you've heard today, then head to www.mind.org.co.uk for further info and support. That's all the gossip I've got for you this week. I've been Tania Taylor and I'll see you soon.